Almost every organization uses spreadsheets. Why? Spreadsheets are so easy to create. The problem is that once created, these spreadsheets get shared, they get updated, and you kind of lose track as to who has the latest version. Another problem is that they're pretty difficult to update on mobile. Well, wouldn't a better solution be to store this precious data in a properly secured database using a browser-based app that everyone can access? Well, with Oracle Apex, you can do just that, and we'll show you how. Okay, well, I've logged into my Apex Builder right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on Create, to create a new application. I have three options here, and I'm actually going to select that I want to create an application from a file. Now I can either upload a file, a spreadsheet, or I can copy and paste data. I'm going to click Copy and Paste here. And I'm going to toggle over to my spreadsheet data. As you can see, it's a spreadsheet of projects and tasks. I'm going to select, I've selected my records here. I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to go back to my builder and I'm going to paste that data in right here. That's what it looks like. I'm going to click on next. And I have to fill in some information here. I need to give my table a name. I'm going to call it project task. Uh, my first line does contain headers. I'm going to take a look at my data. That all looks fine. And I'm going to click on load data. And I get a notification that my table was created with 73 rows. I'm now going to click on create application. All right, so here we are on the Create Application page. I just have a few more things to complete before our application is ready. So first we have to give it a name. I'm going to call it Projects and Tasks. It's recommending a default set of pages. I'm just going to accept these recommended defaults. That looks great to me. It's asking me what features I want in my app. We'll see more about that later, but I'm just going to check all for now. And the rest looks fine, and I'm going to click Create Application. And now we have an app. Let's take a look. So let's run our application. Click on the Run Application button here. We're going to sign in using the same credentials that we used to create the app in the first place. And here we are. We've got all of this already created for us. We haven't done really much of anything. We have a dashboard, a task search page, a report, and a calendar. So let's take a closer look at the dashboard and it's automatically created these bar charts for us, this pie chart. The pie chart is, um, is drillable, so we can click through and see all open projects, for example. It takes us to the report. We can come in and work with any of these records, click on Edit. I can, for example, change the start date here, click on Save. That's automatically updated, and everybody's working with the same set of data. It's, um, it's responsive. This works just as well on a tablet as on a phone, and it's, we've done it in a matter of minutes. So we can take a look at how we can make improvements to the app, but I hope that you can see that just by using some wizards uploading a basic spreadsheet, we've got an app that's pretty much ready to go. All right, so let's take a quick look at some of the other cool features of our app. Let's first take a look at Project Task Search Page. Now on this search page, you'll see in the left-hand column over here, we have something called a faceted search. Now this has been taken care of automatically. As a developer, I haven't had to do anything. It's giving an end user a way to filter the list of tasks by project, by assignment, by budget, by status and it's even showing number of records per category. So I might wanna see my client server projects that are assigned to PEM. Obviously, this faceted search can be customized by developers, but straight out of the box, it's super helpful, super useful. So that's called faceted search, and it's a great feature of uh, the latest version of Oracle Apex. So that's the 
task search page. Let's take a look at the project task report. Now this is called an interactive report. Interactive reports are great because they give end users a ton of features straight at their fingertips. Developers don't have to create tons of different reports for different users. Users have the ability to do uh, to, to slice and dice the data as they see fit. For example, what are some of the things you can do with an interactive report? Well, I can click on my project header, project column header, and I can select to group by. What that's going to do is group all of my tasks by project. So that's already looking quite interesting. Another thing I can do is add calculated fields to my report. So I'll go to Actions, Data, Compute, and I'm going to add a new computation that I will call Budget versus Cost. And in my expression field, I'm going to say Cost minus Budget. And actually, I'm going to use a format mask. I'm going to use the drop down button here. I'm going to select the currency format. And I'm going to click on Apply. And you'll see right away, I have a new column in my report called budget versus cost. I can actually aggregate that new column as well by going to actions, data, aggregate. I'm going to select a new aggregation, which will be the sum of my new column budget versus cost. And there you have it. I've got a sum of budget versus cost grouped by project. So another thing I can do here is render the same data as a chart. I'm going to go back to the Actions menu, click on Chart, I'm going to select a bar chart, Project for the label, Budget versus Cost for the value. I'm going to sum that. Let's use a horizontal orientation and sort by ascending value of project. I'm going to click on Apply. And there you have it. It renders as a lovely chart. From here, I can toggle between the two views. I can click on my report view to go back to report, or I can click on chart view to view it as a chart. And again, I can save this and keep coming back to it anytime I need to. So that was our very quick tour of interactive reports. There's all sorts of other things you can do with them. Uh, we've only touched the surface of interactive reports, but I invite you to explore and learn some more. Hopefully you'll see what a powerful feature it is of Oracle Apex. We won't go through everything, but as you can see on the left-hand side of the menu, there are all sorts of other things that we've actually got with our app. We've got an admin panel, here that shows us that actually allows us to control access to the application we get some activity reports we can see who are the most active users what are the most active pages users can select their own style their own ui for the application so all sorts of great features right out of the box with this app that really only took us a couple of minutes to create so that's it that's how you can use oracle apex to create a web-based app from a spreadsheet in just a few minutes.